little, what the cat, what, what's the cat doing? What's oh, going on here? Me. Oh, my volume is on set. Ah, is the cat Ooh. drowning or is the cat trying to catch some fish? No, the cat's swimming. The cat is swimming. It don't look like he's swimming. Looks like he's in yes, big he's trouble. Swimming. He's drowning. He's drowning. I think so. I think no, he's... no, no. I think he's in big trouble. No, no, no. Are you gonna turn it's... some cameras on, or am I gonna? You don't have to pick yeah. that up. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, get your cameras on here, so I can see who I'm talking to. A drowning cat, some militia warrior, inanimated terrorist, and then. What the heck's a Donnie? What's that? What's a Donnie? Now I get the cat again? And, um, oh, there's Donnie. Donnie's got the scene out, the scenery out the back window today. Hmm. How's Donnie what? today? Hmm. I'm very, very not good. I'm very, very, very not good, huh? Yes. <laughs> Why are you not good today? What's the problem now? Because. Because. I don't want to happy. <laughs> I don't want to what? I don't want to happy. I don't want to be good. You don't want then to be happy. I don't want to be good. You don't want to be good. You don't want to be happy. Today. Okay, well, stop smiling then. You're supposed to be like. That's how you have to be if you want to be in a bad mood. No smiling? No, no, you got to put the mean on. Mean? That's smiling again. You're not, you're, that, that's not a bad day. You can't be like, ha, I'm having a bad day today. <laughs> yeah, it's not <laughs> smiling in the skin. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Where's my white light? That's my red light. I'll try that one today. Hmm. <laughs> How's Mimi Milo today? Um, oh. I was after watching me dance at, well, I don't know how to describe it, but it's so depressed when look, looking at the way I dance. Oh, you're doing a dance again at school? Uh -huh. Is it, is, mm. is this for school or, or something else? It will be for school. For school, and when you watch yourself dance, you you feel depressed. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have to practice. Dancing is good for you. Very, very good. Donnie dances every day. No. What? That's not what your mom said. You're always dancing, karaoke, hey, and no, dancing that's... outside on the street, singing do a do a dee dee dum dee dee do. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, he's, he's lying. Donnie, Donnie sings and dances all the time. Okay, drowned cat. What's wrong with the drowned cat? What's going on with the cat? Why the cat got a white tape around his face? I, I, that, mm. This looks scary. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a cat is that? How's Lily today? I'm normal. What did I tell you guys about saying normal when people ask you how you are? That's not normal to say, I'm normal. <laughs> Don't ever, when someone asks you how you are, how you're doing, an answer saying, I'm normal. That's, that's, that's just not good. Not good, not good, not good. Duh. Duh. All right. So what do we got today? Holy meatballs. You've won six vocab challenges in a row. What the, what the, what the, what's going on here? Donnie, Donnie, you're getting your beep beep kicked again. What? How come you're letting the girls kick your beep beep? Mm -hmm. And this is the last one. Lesson nine, page 100. Oh, ah, okay. Did we have, what the, what the, what the, that's 100. No, 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 lesson eight. No, 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 not 100 yet. Next week is the last week. Two weeks we have our test. That scared me for a week. Test in two weeks. Your mom still hasn't called back about the mic. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What do you know? 
Do you know anything? Yes, I know. You know. Yes, you know. Yes, you know everything. I know everything. Oh, now you know everything. Okay, so what's going on with the microphone? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's what I thought. I don't know. I do know. I do know. Okay. No one's going to tell me how they're doing except depressed, very, very, very bad, and normal. <laughs> Nobody even asked how I was doing today. Unbelievable. Are you kidding me? Hey, yeah. Sometimes I wonder when we're going to get more organized here. One of these days. One of these days. Oh, boy. All right. Stephen King. Who the heck is Stephen King? Have you ever heard of Stephen King? No. No. Maybe you too? You never heard of Stephen King either? No, of course no. Of course no. Oh my God, he's very famous. He's very, very famous. He's written like... Uh, I think he's not that famous. <laughs> he is. He wrote like 30 or 40 books. Two Vietnamese. Millions of books. Yeah, well, I remember even, even Miss Lei's son Ming was reading one of his books. The book was called It. Do you know it? The story about the the crazy clown, the horror clown, the horror story. I haven't read it. I don't know. No, uh, Stephen King is a fiction writer. He writes about horror stories and different things. He pet cemetery where if you bury your dead cat in that cemetery, the cat comes back from the dead like a zombie and hunts down the family. <laughs> um, he did. Oh, my God, I can't even think of all the, the different titles. Um, oh, what are some of them? What are you, some? You still own the key books? Hmm? And you already still own the key book? About two or three pictures. I showed, I know. I made another. As I said, sometimes it amazes me how we're still not organized enough sometimes to set things up for a class. Yeah, Stephen King is getting pretty old now, that's for sure. He would be 74 years old now. But in his heyday, he wrote TV show. What movies did he write? Oh, yeah, okay. So, of course, It, A Scary 1986, uh, The Shining he wrote, The Stand, Carrie. Oh, Carrie was him too. Oh, my God. Chapter 2. Really? Stephen King wrote Shawshank Redemption? No. No, I don't believe it. Mm. Yeah, he's written a lot of books. A lot of books. Okay. Let's do our vocab. So sometimes, like Stephen King writes a lot of... Yeah, that's right, Donnie. Only the key book I see. That's right, Donnie. Today is the 20th. Yeah, 20... Right. Okay. Comedy. Right, 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 right. Yeah, Stephen King writes like well, I guess most of it is 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 considered fiction too because th obviously they're made up stories. They're not real. Um, but a lot of it is horror as well. Sometimes there's monsters or evil and. And, uh, oh, Misery. Oh, he wrote Misery, too, I think. That was a really crazy. A lot of his books became movies. But, of course, some people don't like horror movies. Lily likes horror movies, all right? Didn't you say you like horror movies? Yes, I did. Mm. I thought so. But some people don't like horror. Some people just like to watch comedies. I like all of them. But I, I'm not a big fan of musicals. Do you know musicals? Like I find them, uh, if, it's, if it's a play like Riverdance or Phantom of the Opera or Miss Saigon or something like that, I kind of like those, but I, I don't 
those are called plays, I think. I don't think they're called musicals. Some movies they act and they sing and they dance in the movie, but there's there's a story too, which is kind of like a play, I guess. Maybe maybe um maybe I'm confusing the two. Maybe they're both the same musical and a play. But I usually don't like watching musicals very often. Yeah, comedies. You like comedies, Donnie? Mm-hmm. Very, very lie. Very, 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 very lie. Oh, I very much like it. Or I very much like them. Or I enjoy them very much. Are you eating? Mm-hmm. Donnie's eating. No. You, uh, you eating fried chicken? No. Mm, I think you're eating. Eating, eating, eating. <laughs> Do you like watching comedies, Mimi? Mammy. Is she frozen or is she just watching YouTube? I think she's frozen. I'm going to delete her. <laughs> well, if she's frozen, frozen. <coughs> if she's frozen, it means she needs to sign in again anyway. So I'm just helping her. <laughs> Because uh, I'm a nice guy. I think you like to kick the out. <laughs> yeah, I figured you had a bad internet connection, so I thought it was good to delete you just so you could sign in again and get a better connection. So I was helping you. But Donnie says I'm evil. Donnie said I was evil. <laughs> <laughs> a painting, a drawing, or a photograph of a person, especially from of the head and shoulders. So they're not just paintings. There's a style. What? Yeah. Again? So. I think maybe you said something. Portrait. Uh, how do you spell it? That's not quite how it sounds, but it sounds close. Portrait. Mimi? Wait a minute. Are you typing it? I don't remember how... Fire in the hole? Are you it's freezing done. again? Portrait. Tape it in the box there. I need to know what the word is. Hurry up, hurry up. Type, 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 type in the chat box. Oh, Just wait. Wait till I get uh, Mimi's, Mimi's answer here. Mm-hmm. Where? Mimi, are you typing? Typing. <laughs> oh, she's really laggy today. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I still don't have a chip, 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 chip. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Okay. Ah. Oh, here we go. Finally. Hello, Donnie. No, I, I, I don't want. I don't want. To, that's no. That's the wrong answer. Can uh, I type this? I'm gonna have to give it to Lily because I can't understand what you're saying, Mimi. You, Mimi, you've got you got lag. That's one problem, but you also have a is, you, microphone problem. It's hard to hear what you say sometimes. Hard to fix your pronunciation, too. So Lily gets the point. It's called a portrait. Mm -hmm. I think that's what they call it in... um, Isn't that what they call it in... in, 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 uh, When you do shorts, a portrait format, portrait mode or something like that? I can't remember. I think it's portrait. Okay. Do 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 do. Portrait, Mimi. Donnie. Portrait. Yes, Portrait. 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 Yeah. I am. Portrait. Portrait. I need that. Trit. I need that word. What, Mimi Milo? Uh, that's my word. <laughs> that's the word you were trying to say. 
I <laughs> thought that, that was the word you're trying to say, but why didn't you just type it in the chat box when I asked you to? Oh, she's frozen again. All right, so we'll give Mimi Milo that one. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, my God. To say yes. Except. Except. I think that's the right word. It is. Yeah. She, uh, he. What do you call it when someone asks you to marry them? Mm. No. You don't know? It's right there on the screen. It's right on the screen. Proposal? A proposal, yeah. Oh. To propose to someone. Donnie, when you ask someone to marry you someday, you will be proposing to them. A proposal. Why? Well, that's what they call it. I propose marriage. I gave her a proposal, like an offer, right? To say yes to an offer or invitation. I offered her an apology, but she wouldn't take it. Nope, she's she's not happy. I wonder what 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 he did. Hmm. Do you know what he did? What did he do, Donnie? Yeah. Why is he in such trouble? Trying to drink a water. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to what? I tried to drink water. He tried to drink water. Yes. And uh -huh. she's angry with him because he tried to drink water. Hmm? <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Except one, one, one. Mm. Ah, zero. Mm. I don't think so. Worried? Kind of like that. But I don't think that's correct. A feeling of being not being certain about something, especially about how good or true something is. All right. But these people at the concert or the play, the concert, there is no mm, that the show will be successful. Look how happy everybody is. Not like Donnie. Ah, very, very, very bad. Yeah. Not so bad. So if you believe it without question, you have no what that he's telling the truth. But see, he, I'm what? not. Doubt? Yeah, doubt. Doubts. I'm having doubts about his ability to do the job. Look at these papers. Look at this. This is just not good. This is this is very, 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 very bad. But the concert is very, 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 very good. There is no doubt that the show will be successful. Doubt. And it's one of those bees in there again, but it's silent. Doubt. Yeah. A silent B. Doubt. I doubt it very doubt. much. Yeah. Dum, 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 dum. I doubt. I doubt I'll go. I don't think so. <whistles> All right. So this is like another option. Instead of using gas, we could use solar panels instead of using chemical drugs at the drugstore we could do herbal medicine um this one you don't really have a choice because the road is closed so you have to take a detour you have to take another way but if you can take another way that means that there are two ways to go to some place so you have got another way of doing something so they are what? Herbal medicines are an key tip clue. An four syllables to pharmaceutical medicines. Solar power, wind power is an two alternatives. Alternative, yeah. Right? Even go to school. You could take the bicycle instead of taking 
the bicycle would be an alternative instead of taking the bus. Alternative. Mimi Milo. Alternative way to do something. Donny, alter alternative, yeah. Altern all all the deep O there. Uh, Fota alter alternative. Alternative. Yeah, alternative. Mm -hmm. The stress is on tur, so alternative. Alternative. No, nah, no, nah, not la la. Native. Alternative. Nah, not la. N. Alternative. <laughs> Native. Alternative, Lily. Alternatives. Mm. It could be many alternatives. Yeah. Yes, when in doubt. Well, I shouldn't say that, when in doubt. Herbal medicines are definitely better than pharmaceutical medicines, for sure. If you can use them, use them. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, my God. A particular period in time. Like right now, we're in, I, well, I guess it's the information. What? Our present time. You know, you have the, the mm of the Egyptians, the mm of the dinosaurs, the mm of the me medieval times with all the castles and all that stuff. Oh, oh! I got a lag too. Do I have some screens open here that shouldn't be open? No, that's correct. That's correct. No. Epic. Epic is something grand, something big that happens, something that could be like life changing, or something amazing. And these. <clears throat> of time, periods of time, uh, also have had epic times, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. But no, that's not it. No? Medieval times, the bronze... When they invented bronze. They're called an age. The bronze age. The age of the Egyptian empire. The age of dinosaurs. Everything throughout time. Um, and, and I think it's like. Whether, whether it's about. Oh, these are all. Big words that I'm trying to think about because I don't want to get them wrong. <coughs> it's not geological, but it's about when something major changed throughout history. You know, like when when they started, I guess, mining, right? Bronze, you would mine that. They were using bronze and, and, um, and tin, I think. Or maybe it was copper. I can't remember. But this is where the soldiers' equipments all changed. It changed the way warfare was fought because uh, the weapons changed. So every, when something big happens and something changes drastically, they kind of call it an age, right? The end, the end of the dinosaur age, well, that came to an end when the asteroid hit. Um, you know, the, the, the age of siege war um, with the castles and, and these kinds of armies, you know, that, that was a period of time. The medieval times, basically the Roman times, 1,000, 1,500 years. Um, that was an age in history. I guess back before the Egyptians, you had the, what was it, Macedonians? I forget what now, what do we call those? There was other cultures back then. So the different time periods, you know, it says a particular period of time, usually when something major changed. Now, you know, now that we have the internet and we, they, a lot of people refer to our time now as the information age, how things have changed so drastically. <coughs> <coughs> oh, 
or like changed very much. Age and age in the dark ages. Yeah, this is a lot. The Victorian age. I remember the time of, uh, I, I remember, no, I mean, I, I, I've read about uh, Queen Victoria. That was what, back in the 16 or 1700s? I forget what years now. But a lot of things changed then too. And, and, and she was really into fashion and style and architecture. And a lot of things were built in there. And it was called the Victorian style, um, which still exists today. Age. Uh, what can we say about this guy? What do we say if someone you know, or it doesn't matter if someone you know, but someone... Yeah, but there's another way of saying. We don't say he's out drunken. He's out... What do we say he's doing when you know he's drinking a lot of alcohol? <laughs> Yeah, it's just drinking. Drinking a lot. So if you were to describe someone, like because Stephen King, for example, went through a period. Uh, it happens to people sometimes. It's not good, and, and you don't want it to happen. But for some people, it happens to. And I think in his story, he talks about he finished college. Is it college or mm -hmm. university? So, well, Stephen King talks about this. But the way we describe someone who's becoming an alcoholic is drinking a lot. Oh, he's drinking. Because when we say that, it means alcohol. And what happened with him is he got out of university. Um, he wasn't selling much of his short stories. And he was married. So his whole life was very different. And he got, he got depressed for, for a while. I think a year or something in his life. But during that time that he got depressed, that he, he, he wasn't sure what he was doing with his life and which direction he was going, he ended up drinking a lot in that time. So what it means when someone says, oh, he's drinking a lot or he's out drinking, it means they're drinking alcohol. So too much. That's the thing about it. It's, it's very bad for you if you drink too much. Okay. Next. At Donnie's point. Oh, I forgot to put the word up again. Yeah, drinking a lot. And I, and I, I know it's not like one word, but I wanted you to know that because you, you'll you'll see that in readings. People will say it on TV. People will say it about other people, and then you'll know what it means. Yeah, I got a bit of a lag, too. Oh, and even the live stream is lagging a bit right now. Hmm. The amount of weight carried. Read that, Donnie. The amount of weight carried. Especially. 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 Especially by a machine. Oh, Ve vehicle. 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 A structure. Structure. Chur. Like future. Structure. Structure. Chur. Chur. Uh. Picture. Future. Uh. Structure. Load. What is it, Lily? Load. Yeah, such as a bridge or an animal. Four points. It's called a load. Now, a load can be a noun, of course. We're calling it a load here, but load can also be a verb, right? Um, for example, you know, right here, the program, you see the little lines going around in a circle. The, the software, the channel, the site, something is loading. So that's a verb. In this sentence over here, he is loading to put something on, right? Loading the, the pallet, these, these wooden f flat, these flat wooden things are called pallets. And 
in warehouses and, and stuff like that, they're used a lot because they have the, uh, is that in this class? Uh, no, it was another class. They have those forklifts with the two, the two front pieces. You see them in big, in uh, mega mart and stuff like that, where they drive it up and then the two teeth go under a, a pallet like this in the two holes. And then they could pick up big, heavy loads and put them on top shelves. Um, you see a lot in warehouses and things like that. So he's loading the pallet, and then the the forklift, which you're going to see in a second here, the forklift will come and pick up the load. Now it's become it's become a noun, right? Often when you pa there's there's the forklift right there, taking the load away. Um, when people are putting things on containers for ships on big container ships that's a big load of containers because many different things uh, tractor trailers when you see the lorries the trucks pulling those containers and stuff right they're carrying a load as well because a load doesn't have to be one thing it can be many different things but it's just it's big it's heavy it's large yeah and these women are carrying all kinds of things uphill okay let's see if i can get to the next picture without any big problems? All right, here we go. Now, Vietnam, no. We would not say that we live in a multicultural mm, in Vietnam because that's not true. But in Western countries, you have Africans and Asians and Europeans and people from all over the place, uh, Indians and Arabs. So many, many, many different cultures. The people considered as a group or a group of people who live together in a particular system. What do you call all the people that live in Vietnam? Vietnamese what? Community. Communities are usually smaller groups. I mean, you can have big communities. But no, much bigger than a community. Pretty much like the countries and the world. But I would say specifically, specifically about countries. I think that would be more appropriate. Now it starts with an S. Hmm. Yeah, definitely some lag. Bad connections everywhere here, too. No? Hmm. That's kind of why they, they called Facebook and YouTube and all these others a certain name, too. What do they call Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Zylo? Z Zalo, not Zylo, Zalo. What are they called? Mm. Which is a lot broader, means gets to more people, very different. But what do they call them? What is Facebook? Is it a car company? Is Facebook a, a space exploration agency? Is it a restaurant? What is it? It's in agriculture. Facebook. What's Facebook in? What kind of business is it? Okay. This is not a difficult word, but I notice sometimes it's hard to guess it. Society. Grow up and take part in society. Join the rest of the working force and families and people and schools and neighborhoods and cities and Vietnamese society, American society, right? Sometimes organizations are named after societies. Um, society, of course, social comes from society, so social networks, right? Um, once you're in there, you can find different communities, smaller. But once, once you're in Facebook, I guess all the communities together on that kind of a platform would be something like 
the online society. Yeah. See in here too. These are all these people look like they're from different countries originally. Ancestry, ancestral, ancestral. Society. One, um, Africa. Definitely the roots are African, definitely Asian, definitely uh -huh. European. For sure. Yeah. Society, Donnie. Society. Eti. Society. Oh, no, no, you're right. Society. Ati, ati. Society. Try to say it all together. Society. Try to roll it together now. Society. Yeah, good. Mimi Milo, society. Society. Lily? Society. Yeah. Is that your sister? Yes. Hello, little sister. Ah, she even looks like you. <laughs> that all my neighbors are that we are we look different. That you look different. Yeah. Oh, really? I only got a small view of half of her face, but I saw some resemblance. Resemblance. All right, it's got to read the sentences here. Natural talent? Yeah, you don't have to say natural, but... Yeah, it could be natural talent, too. Lizzie will sing in the talent show. Right? We would say natural talent when... Often when you see someone young and then they do something really well in something that they haven't practiced much before or the first time they try it. And it's like, oh, wow, he or she is a natural talent with this. Yeah. Leslie will sing in a talent show, and we expect her to win first place. Her talent for art showed at an early age. Yeah. Natural ability to do something. Especially without being taught. Do any of you like to paint? Donnie, you like to paint? No. No? Lily, do you like to paint? No. You or your sister like to paint? Yes. Yeah? And your sister? Yes. Yes. Ah, good. You and your sister. Yeah, it's good to paint. And she doesn't She doesn't paint very well. Well, it takes practice. It takes practice. She's lazy. She never practices. <laughs> uh, I know a man, he really likes painting. Mm -hmm. But, uh, uh... Mm, how to say? Uh, school. Art school? No. Like, like a school. Mm. Like an art school? Yes, a school. Um, review, review his from studying it. Study in their S school. So, oh, the school refused him for studying in their school. Mm -hmm. Wow. Why did they do that? Because he draw very bad and he draw again the map of. Because hmm. he, 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 um, he draw all the map of Europe. Europe? Yeah. He yeah. drew the map of Europe. You know, he. Very famous. Okay, so they said he wasn't good enough, but then he drew the map of Europe, mm -hmm. and he's actually really good. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so the school, you know he, the school was wrong. No, I don't know. Do you know him? Hitler, Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler. Oh <laughs> yeah, Adolf Hitler was an artist, wasn't he? He was a painter or something. Yes. That's right. There's a lot of strange stories. There's another story about about someone. It was a British soldier, 
and they were fighting in the fields. Of course, World War Two. I, I don't know the whole background of the story, but one one German soldier was wounded and or really tired, and he didn't have his gun anymore, and he was walking out of the battlefield, and uh, a soldier saw him, and of course the the British soldier put his gun up to 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 shoot the German, but um, he realized that the German soldier had no no gun, no weapon. You know, and he looked really tired and really beat up, and he felt sorry for him, and he let him go. He, did, he didn't arrest him or shoot him or anything. Uh, and it turns out that that guy was Hitler before World War II started. Um, so I, I don't know if, it is, if there's any truth to it. I, th I think it was a YouTube short I saw that on. Um, but if it is true, that's amazing because had he arrested him then or, or shot him, I don't know what war. Because the thing is, it, it said something about before World War II. Well, I don't know if Hitler was ever a soldier and fought in any wars before World War II started. So it was kind of strange to me a little bit. But it would be pretty amazing if someone had Hitler right there with a mm -hmm. gun and then he, he didn't do anything and then Hitler went and started World War II and, and responsible for killing millions and millions of people. Yeah. It would be pretty crazy. There are some crazy stories out there. I don't know. Some of them... Some of them you have to take with a grain of salt, meaning, oh. meaning some of them you have to doubt their validity. Okay. Talent. What's your, fa what's your best talent, Donnie? Mm, eating a lot. Slang. Oh. <laughs> Donnie, eating is not a talent. It's a necessity. Everybody has to eat. Now, cooking could be a talent. Are yeah. you good at cooking? Better than anyone else. What's that, man? Eat better? And uh, a bigger amount of food. Well, that's not a talent. I can cook it very good. I can cook very well. I can cook it. What, what the way? Why are you oh. learning your English? Yeah, is cooking very bad? <laughs> yeah, see, maybe the story was Donnie tried to go to a cooking school. And the cooking I school said, no, you cook really bad. So they won't let mm -hmm. him in the school. But he really likes cooking. Is that the true story? No. <laughs> I, I heard about something like that with Hitler that, yeah, he was like an artist or something or a mm -hmm. painter. Or, I, I couldn't remember if it was an artist or a pianist or something. But, yeah. What about you, Lily? What are you talented at? Um, maybe it's cooking very bad. <laughs> Well, if it's bad, it can't be a talent. A talent means you have to be really good at it, naturally. And me sleeping. <laughs> I can sleep very well. Mm -hmm. Eating, sleeping is not a talent. It's a necessity. Oh, my God. Mimi Milo, what's your talent? Talented dancer? Singer, uh, musician, painter, writer. What do you think you're pretty good at? Uh, or maybe you should ask yourself a different way. What do you think you're best at doing? What do I, you do the I can, best? I can. Can what? Oof, where'd she go? There she is. What can you do quite well? Rather well? Really well? I know because I can do all this. Uh, all this stuff. A lot of stuff. Yeah, but mm. nothing is can consider a talent. Okay. Well, I mean, you don't have to be a superstar to have talent, right? I mean, for example, I know I, I'm very I, – well, okay. I'll say, I'll say when I was younger, when I was your age, I was very good at many sports. So I was talented as an athlete. Had I, had I continued playing sports, I had a chance to become something in sports. 
I was also a very talented drawer. I wouldn't. I, I did paint, but I wouldn't say I was talented at it. it. Didn't come natural. But doing architecture, drawing buildings and engines and ships and stuff like that, I was very talented in that at a very early age. Uh, I was very talented at something else that I was really good at. I was really talented at swimming too. I would say. Um, in school, what would I be doing? I guess I was quite good at math when I first started out. But I was never really talented for musical instruments. I only learned to play the flute, but not very well. <laughs> what about Lily's little sister? Little sister have a talent? Yes. What's your talent? The talent is cry in a very long time. Oh. And she isn't tired. <laughs> so did you think of a talent yet, Lily? What is it that you're pretty good at? That you think um, you're pretty good at? Like one of the things you're better at? You're definitely, all of you are definitely talented at learning languages. Linguistic? Really, it's, um, I, I, I draw quite well. Okay, so you have some talent with drawing. Donny, what is your talent? And don't say video games. Oh, he's gone. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, talent. That's why they have talent shows. Oh, what do you call the man who runs an orchestra? He's probably talented, too. You have all the the woods and the, the wind. What do they call that? Wind? Oh, I forget all the names inside the orchestra. You have the brass. That's all the flutes and the saxophones and trumpets. Then you have, I think it's called the woods. No, the strings. The strings is all the violins and the guitars. And the, I guess the harp would be one too. And the other ones that they hold. Conductors. Yeah, conductor. And of course you have the drums and you have the and those are the per, per, persecution per, per, percussion. Yeah, there's different parts inside. So for the for the conductor, conductor to organize all the different people playing music at the same time. Wow. He'd have to be very talented. It's not something you could do overnight. It would take a lot of practice for sure. And I just watched a, an anime about music. Oh, yeah. Last week. An anime about music. So what did you learn? I learned nothing. <laughs> you learned nothing? Well, what, what, were, what did they talk mm -hmm. about? You said about music. Did they talk about different types of music? Or did they talk about orchestras? You used to talk about some types of music different types of music okay all right donnie the orchestra's conductor conductor <laughs> the doctor you need a doctor mm -hmm. conductor conduct like duck duck quack quack conductor conductor yeah. Easy. Oops. Easy, huh? Oh, what the, what the, what? Unbelievable. I didn't want to do that. Clean. Ugh. The orchestra's conductor. All right, let's try this, Mr. Donny. Hey. The orchestra's conductor. The orchestra's conductor. Yeah. Very, very slow. <laughs> That's okay. When you're learning to get your pronunciation right, you're trying to rewire and train your brain, it's okay. 
That's how we learn first. The. The. Or. Uh, uh, let's go like this. I'm going to go. Sp I'll just do dots. That's what I'll do. Or. Kess. Uh, Kess. It's like a architect or mechanic. There's no ch. It's Kess. Or Kess. Tra. Orchestra. Danny. Orchestra. The orchestra. Possessive. Possessive. Orchestras. Yeah, you have to put a Z there because it belongs to the orchestra. Yeah, and this one is pretty simple, just like up, up top. Con. Duck. Tur. Actually, it's pronounced. Tur, con, conduct. Oh, what's the phonic here? We get the wrong conduct, the verb. And then we have the noun, conductor, as the, as the person. Conduct. Oh, what is what, what? Tur, that's not the E. That is not the E-R phonic. The E-R has the tiny little R sticking out of the side. Something's wrong with this phonetic. What's wrong with that? What is wrong with that? Conductor. I, bu I believe it's pronounced like this, but I'm double checking Cambridge right now. So try that again, Donnie. The orchestra's conductor. The orchestra's conductor. Conductor. Yeah, not doctor. Oh. Doctor. Let me see here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Conductor, conductor, conductor. Yeah, I thought so. I can't copy and paste, but it's that other, it's that other phonic there, and I always recognize it like this, because it kind of has um, but it looks like a little mini R on the side that kind of comes out over here. Something like that. And it's that E-R sound. And that's what this O-R sounds like. Conductor. Mimi. The orchestra's conductor. <coughs> Excuse me. The orchestra's con con conductor. Just like quack, quack, duck. Conductor. Conductor. The orchestra's conductor. You're breaking up so much. Lily, the orchestra's conductor. The orchestra's conductor. Yeah. Uh, I have a feeling. Uh, the okay. Yeah, I don't know where they got this phonic conduct talk. I don't see it on Google and I don't see it on... I don't see it on on Cambridge either. All right, another mistake that we'll have to fix. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, let's go to the next one. Ah, uh -huh. someone that performs alone. We call it a drum. Uh -huh. A guitar, uh, maybe singing with single? no band. Ah, oh, a single. That's usually like one of the songs. It's kind of like when someone leaves a band, too. Like, um, I guess you could say that about Beyonce. Because Beyonce didn't become famous being Beyonce. She was first uh, uh, on a band called, I think it was Destiny, Destiny's Child or something like that. And there was a band of like four or five women and they became successful. But then they started having problems within the band and she decided she's going to go out on her own and leave the band. And she became a big star anyway. But uh, there's a word for that. She went... And it means to go on your own, by yourself. Even hiking, if you go by yourself, you're going to go what? 
What article? Single. It's not single. Single has a few different meanings. Of course, being one, um, a single person, no partner, uh, a, a single release, like a, a song from your album for music. Um, what else? To be singled out. No, it starts with an S, but it's only four letters. It's a really small word. Alone? That's five letters, and it doesn't start with an S. Yes. <laughs> uh, Turn that AC off. No. Five, four, three. No. Two. What did you say, Donnie? Oh, yeah. SOS. That means help. <laughs> <laughs> you cracker jack. I'm so high you're a cracker jack sometimes, Mr. Donnie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes you're a cracker jack. <laughs> no, cracker jack. Cracker jack. Two, one, bang. Solo. To go solo. That means to go alone. To be single. I'm going solo. Ah, even when uh, I, I remember this in stories or with friends like when you go to your high school prom do you guys have a dance after we in your high school graduation do you have like a prom in vietnam mm -hmm. yeah no you have a big party with all the students who graduated no yes we have you do okay yes i don't know because um I know some kids, students would say if they didn't have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or they didn't want to ask anyone to go to the prom with them, um, they would say, no, 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 I'm just going to go solo this to, to the prom. Or sometimes when you get invited to the party and uh, you, you don't want to bring anybody with you. You just want to go alone. You say, I'm going to go solo. Solo. Solo means to go do something by yourself. Or join other people, but just with no partner with you. Yeah, solo. That's a good word to know. So, as we were talking about Beyonce, she has been put under the... The what? Solo? Oh. What do you call these? Oh, the light. Fall a light. But what kind of light? You can have a light Fall in your light. bedroom. I got a light here. That's light. What is it, uh, space. Lily? Space. space light? No. Space. Spotlight. Sta oh, stage light. Spotlight. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, if there are many of them, they would be stage lights. Spotlight. Uh, but one that focuses would be a spotlight. And it's often used like a metaphor. When the media is, is talking about someone a lot, like right now, Donald Trump with the FBI investigation, he's in the spotlight. Yeah. The attention is on you. So when the attention is on you, they often refer to it as being in the spotlight. Yeah, spotlight. <laughs> Easy one. Uh, we talked about this before with Stephen King and what kind of books he writes. What kind of stories? Harry Potter. Fiction. Fiction. Yeah. Fiction just means not real. So any kind of anime, any kind of wizards and fantasy, any kinds of horror, um, anything that is not real, you can generally just call it a work, a work of fiction. And, you know, just like uh, Iron Man and Superman, all that, they, they're, they're fictitious characters, or fictitious or fictional, fictional characters. I don't know if fictitious is actually a word. <laughs> fictional characters. They're not real. They're just only in the stories. 
Okay. But this one is also fiction. But what kind of fiction? It's not fairy tale fiction. Right? Outer space and imagination. Science fiction. Science fiction, yeah. Because it uses so much technology, they classify this one as science fiction. Yeah, science fiction. <coughs> Science fiction is one of my favorites. When I was a kid, cartoons and reading and books and movies, I always loved science fiction. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a science fiction artist and author. Ooh. Ooh. That's what I wanted to do, to be able to draw all these worlds and, and spaceships and cultures and everything else and then to write the stories i really 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 wanted to do that i hope that later in in the future when uh when the youtube does much better of course that i'll have more time and i can start writing again because i really like writing science fiction mm. so like the pandemic like poverty spreads all around the world or in or greatly in some places um, existing or happening in many places or among many people and now it could just be in in a country like an epidemic is is like a virus in a country a pandemic is like a virus globally worldwide um, So it, it it just has to be in a large scale. But if it was throughout Vietnam, it could be rumors. What? Yeah, that's right. Good guess, L mm, Lily. Yeah, it could even be a rumor. That's why the spotlight is on a certain celebrity and the news has gone wide spread. It means... Many areas know about it or affects many areas. You know, many people are... Poverty is widespread throughout several countries. Tough, 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 tough. All right, so this is another word for like... Actually, we'll say this one first. Donnie, wide... We got to go with the D, Why? and then you got to. Once you get to that D, you have to roll off into an S, like one word. Widespread. Widespread. Spread. Another D at the end. Widespread. Widespread. Good. Maybe Milo. Widespread. Widespread. Yeah. Lily, one more time. Widespread. Oh, widespread. <laughs> widespread so this is another word of top secret private official secrets this is mm, information for my ears only Aha. I can't tell you that. That is mm, information. Private? <laughs> More than private. Like official or government or military. Very, 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 very private. Very top secret. Huh. Confidential. Confidential, but that's not it. Confidential. In confidential. Well, it's like entrusting. Oh, my God. I haven't used that word in a long time. Confidential. 
Confidential. Intended to keep... Yeah, I guess confidential is a fancy word for a secret. Private, personal, intimate, privileged, quiet, secret, top secret. That's a good guess. Confidential information. But I think this is even higher. The highest. Like the Pentagon. And the government. No. Starts with a C. Private? Private. <laughs> what is it, Donnie? I don't know. Um. C L A. C I C L A. First three letters. Five. C L A. Uh huh. Cla. 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 Uh huh. What uh huh? Ah, cla. Uh huh. What the huh? I can't give you any more clues. No points. I do ask you. Classified. That's classified information. You need some kind of clearance, high level security clearance to be able to to look at classified information. Very top secret, very private. Classified. Lily. Classified. Yeah, that's easy. Milo, classified. 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 Donnie. Classified. Fied. Where's your D? Hmm? Where's Last your D? Classified. Classified. Yeah, classified. What is it? Mimi, you're 10 now, right? I mean, Lily, you're oh, no. 10 now. Not, 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 not Mimi. Mimi, you're 13 now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Lily is 10 now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hmm. Oh, this letter has no return address. I don't know who sent it. They sent this letter. Mm. Who is that person? Who's the troll on the internet making all these bad comments? Doesn't give his real Hacker. name. Huh? Hacker. Nah, Hacker doesn't send you mail. Oh. Made or done by someone whose name is not known or is not made public. Very easy to do on the internet because you could create fake accounts. Um, what, is it, what did uh, Nishka teach me the other day? Catfished. <laughs> do you guys know getting catfished? Incognito. Incognito is a wonderful guess. But in, incognito is when you personally go to the party. You say you go solo with a mask on and you're going incognito. Because you don't want anybody to know who you are. But you're there. Anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> so sneaky. Anonymous is you don't know who did it or where it came from. Incognito is like you go to the party, but you're there. You just have a mask on and you don't know, don't know who you are. But you're there. It's a little bit different. Let me see what, the, what kind of a definition they give here. Anonymous, Anon anonymous. Oh, I know we. Yeah, anonymous versus incognito. Incognito. I know they. Let's see. I'm pretty sure that's the difference. All right, they refer to the internet here for for incognito and. Anonymous. Your internet service provider and the website you visit will know who you are and what you are doing in incognito mode. 
But if you surf the internet in anonymous mode, you can surf the web without revealing your identity. Everyone, ev uh, even your ISP or the website you visit will have no idea who you are and what you're looking at. That's just about internet browsing. Uh, is incognito? Yeah. So it's funny, though. They say that even if you use incognito on your internet uh, mode, they still know who you are. Tch. Difference between... Okay. Let's go to the next one. Someone who writes music. Musical. Uh, mu musician. Musician oh. performs the music. Who writes it? It's a difference. Someone writes the songs and the music notes. And, and we always call them musicians. But there's a specific word for someone who writes songs. Oh, what? Composure. Yeah. Poor Mimi has such a, such a lag today. Hard to hear you. Just hear. You hear one syllable. It's like. Musician, mu sin, in no to. <laughs> composer. A composer writes music. Conductor directs it, manages it, and the musicians, they play it. There's a lot of artists, musicians, um, that don't write all their own music. They have other people write the music for them. That happens a lot. I remember a band that was very popular. I think the name was Faster Pussycat. And it was like four or five girls again, a girl band. And it, I, I heard the story. Again, I don't know if it's absolutely true. But, but I heard that it was some um, music studios that kind of just said, you know what, we can write the music, we can put everything together, we just need some attractive women that can dance really well um, and have good voices and we'll give them all the songs and we'll take care of the band and everything else and we can make them success. They don't even have to have um, the ability to, they don't have to write their own songs. We'll make them stars. And that's the story I heard about that band. And they, they were a big success for an album or two, and then they disappeared. So I don't know if it's true or not, but I did hear the story. Okay. Aha. So this is a bit more complicated because these are the added words that I put in here. Um, able or willing to change in order to suit different conditions, right? So I was originally thinking of a camel, but a camel is designed specifically for the desert. It's got the hoofs, but they open up into two, like two big feet. So it gives them more traction on the sand, their noses, they can close them automatically and they have these huge eyelashes to protect them against sandstorms. They, they can go days without drinking water. So they kind of evolved in their environment. But what about animals and people like refugees? People are like this. Rat, mice and rats are we're everywhere. It doesn't matter where. The desert, the mountains, the, the cities, the country. And we find a way to live there. So these animals, these creatures, these people. Well, they're all animals, I guess. We are very what? You know, we can't grow banana trees in Canada. They're not. Similar? Similar? No. Different? <laughs> well, that's the thing. If they're similar or different, it's about being able to thrive, being able to survive in another environment you've never been in before. You know, I don't think North America had rats. <laughs> before the 
the Europeans came. Right? They they came over. It's just like like it you know, the potatoes and the the potatoes and the um, pineapples, they all came from uh, South America. Hawaii, South America, the pineapple. Because I remember there's a famous, famous market in London, and they were the first place to sell pineapples. But this was after Columbus had discovered and started trade with, um, with the Americas. So... It is not very. You can't just go and grow a pineapple tree in Russia. It's not going to grow because it is not this word. You can't take a fish and put him in the house next door and say, okay, learn to live there. No, no he can't live there. He's going to die. But you could take, we could go live in the desert right now with some help, of course, but we could learn to live in the desert. We could learn to live. We could die. In the, uh, oh. Well, some people will. Yes, they, but I am. I am not. It's too hard. <coughs> okay. It's just like, um, I don't know if you've ever seen some of those octopus. Uh, they're like chameleons. You know, they can, uh, they can change the color of their skin. And there's a Fla flander fish uh, they can actually change the texture of their skin so predators oh. can't find them okay I'm going to give you this one but this is a really good word you're going to use it in the future adaptable adaptability how well you can adapt to other conditions hello Miss Lay hello everybody mm. yeah you can adapt. Adaptability. Humans are very adaptable. I mean, we can't live on the moon, but that's not true. We are smart enough that we could build space stations and we could adapt to living in a space station. I didn't say it'd be great, but adaptable. You can find rats in probably every country in the world now. They're adaptable. They find ways to survive. Cockroaches! Probably one of the most adaptable insect in the world. I think you could find them anywhere. Hmm. That is the last word. All right. Oh, my God. Lily, Lily. Lily, that's it. We're going to put you in interest 31. <laughs> no. It's not about the content. It's just that your vocabulary is so <laughs> strong. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and you research so fast. But that's a great skill. That's okay. It mm -hmm. makes Mimi and Donnie work harder. Yeah. And you also see that alien, right? Kind of he consume God. The, the, the way. And last, last week, he, uh, actually, yeah, this week. He just got almost all the words. I know they kind of know the tips. <laughs> oh, for sure. And they, they've got to figure the, them out. they got to <clears> use them. Got the, 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 the attention and then they were so motivated. So good. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, only three of you, and maybe today, Lily, you want you want to try try first? Yeah, we'll go reverse this time. Yeah, Lily, all the time and then Mimi, just whining all the Don. time. <laughs> just give Donnie the last five. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we just go straight to this. So, Lily first? Uh, no, why you first? <laughs> so now, today Lily, the first one is you, easy. Lily, Lily first. Donnie, Donnie. Just everything is the same. Right? <laughs> no, no problem. Because if, if it's a little bit hard for you, then you can learn. Very better. hard. Lily. So, comedy for Lily. Um, um, she likes smiling, but... Um, she likes smiling, so when she watches the comedy, she cries. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Miss Lee. Oh, Can she like once again. She liked the comedy. She so hates. She, she hates smiling. smiling. She hates smiling. <laughs> she hates smiling. 
So when she watched the comedy, she yeah. cried. Oh my god, that is really strange. <laughs> she hates little smiling. Little. Yeah, she <laughs> hates smiling. So when she watches comedies, she, she cries. cries. <laughs> yeah, we we have to agree that in your sentence, you will be the champion for using a lot of verbs, right? <laughs> Hate and cried and smiling and watch a lot of verbs in one sentence. All right, just an example. Milo <laughs> or Turt. Still remember? Remember the video that they're drawing? Yeah? Yeah, so what's your example with portraits? It's a painting too, and I remember it's also about the like a direction, so we say. Like when you print, right? You use the printing, you print like a portraits or um, landscape. Yeah, I help my friend to draw a photo portrait. Hmm. I have a friend who draws portraits. I help. help. I help my friend to my friend. draw a portrait. Portrait. Yeah. Actually, um, yeah, portrait. You can say portrait. Portrait is like a British English accent, uh, and portrait, portrait, portrait. It's uh, American. I think both okay. Next, Mr. Donnie. Oh. You happy today, right? You're so satisfied today. Um <laughs> accept. He has to accept a tooth. That the tooth, yeah. The his tooth. dog died. Oh okay. He had yeah, everything in past the uh, past ten then. Past tense. He had to accept that his dog died. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Uh -huh. uh, he had, yeah. Accept, accept. My, my, my fish died last week. The, like a go fish, go, did, what is that? Like the, the fish in the fish bowl for put in uh, your... I don't know what kind of fish is it. But it's like uh, to decorate it, for decorating yeah, decorate. yeah. in the living room? Yes. Hmm. Oh, not good. Not really sure how long is their life span, like how long can they live? Mm, I, I, I think about three or four years. Oh, that long? Wow. Okay. So Donnie had very good sentence example yes. now back to lily number four doubt okay um i have many reasons to doubt my little sister <laughs> many reasons to doubt something good milo the first of the last one of the of this page alternative it can be now like a replacement or it can be tip, uh, adjective. I don't know how to make alternative. <laughs> I don't know how to use. Uh, yeah, alternative. What to make, how to make. Automate? No alternative. Number five is yours. So what is your sentence? Yeah, I, I kind of have a little bit hard time to hear. It's broken. So say it once again. I. I don't know how to make. I don't know how to make what. <laughs> how to make uh, on. How to make what? 
How? How can you come here? So I asked Lily because I missed the, the last part. I don't know how to make what? I don't know how to make alternative ending for my game. Automa alternate alternative ending for my game yeah G game uh, okay yeah that's good the last time that i could hear <laughs> okay uh donny number six where yeah. here <laughs> age 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 yeah age um what age are you <laughs> <laughs> do we really make a sentence like that how old are you so what age are you hmm? prop yeah, yeah prop yeah what age how old yeah it's two i'm 29 but it's the kind of like sometimes we change a little bit right always ask how old so yeah what age what age are you okay Mm -hmm. <laughs> or you can, uh, I can ask, for example, I see your house and it says house. So what age um, is your house, right? What age is your house? So the same. Back to Lily, number seven. Actually, yeah, seven is not really. But it's okay. And yeah. see, what is your example? It's, it's not really a yeah. new word. Your friend, your friend looks sad, and she's drinking a lot of wine. Do you need to stop her right now? <laughs> she is drinking a lot of wine, so she you should advise or should stop her. <laughs> stop her. Yeah, th this one is not new word actually. I guess that it's just um, related to the topic. That's why we put in vocabulary. Um, Milo number eight low now a verb and i also heard mr trevor explain a lot about this word so what's your example with number eight my lawyer yeah. number eight yes uh, sometimes my computer Sometimes my computer. What? See, you stop there, then I cannot hear anything. Sometimes. Yeah. Some, sometimes my computer loads so slow. So slowly. Yeah, true. Yeah. All hours, hours are the same. <laughs> I guess that maybe we 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 work them so hard or something or maybe we are not really good at maintaining computers but yes <clears throat> happens all the time very often load uh donny yeah. society society mm. society in society Mm -hmm. wow. A large, right? Not just a group, but a large group of people live together mm. in an organized way. It's so hard. Mm. Again? Um, I said society. Society mm. number nine, yeah. Um, society has a right to see no pictures. Punishes. <laughs> Punish them. Mm. Mm. I'm not sure. Lily, uh, Milo, can you understand? I can't. Uh, what did he say? What did, yeah, what did he say? That's not from Google. No, 
I am not taking Google sentences here. We live in society here. We, we all live in our societies. What do you think about our society? You think that it's growing? You think that it's getting better? Something like that, Donny. This is just a noun, okay? And we have to put the verb, no, sorry, the words in sentences. So just think like a, about structures and put it in a sentence or sentences. Um. What do you think about our society? Society. Oh. Criminal? No. Criminal. Is criminal. A, criminal. Mm -hmm. right? Criminal. Ah. Is a danger to society. Oh, okay. So you want to talking about someone. So criminals are dangerous for society yeah that's it see you can do it of course easy Plumbing. easy when you think it's easy and you can do it no using google for sentences oh, you I use google, google wait. for searching searching for vocabulary vocab challenge and then you get involved in the conversation yes but not sentences because it just put words together sometimes it won't make any sense right yes i think so of course, if you call them crime, criminals, so yes, they are dangerous for any societies. The last one of this, this page is for Lily, talent. Now, um, she has many talents, but she still, um, she still die in her game. <laughs> die in her game? Yeah. <laughs> That's a, what's a what a pity. What a pity! Yeah, when you have that, maybe you should use them uh, properly. Milo number eleven. Oh, I heard that Mr. Trevor said that we have a wrong um, phonics. So let me check here. So what's your example with this conductor? Conductor. Hmm. Okay, yeah, he's right. We need a small R at the end. Uh, still remember the the images, the video about about this one. I just thinking for my word sentence. I feel bad, but any time that you make sentence and make sentences, and I have to ask you to repeat because I couldn't, I cannot hear the full sentence and I cannot understand. So, once, mm, yes, let's try to use the, the mic. So, once again, um, conductor. I think being a conductor is very hard. Very hard. You mean like a for for music, like a or orchestra? Yeah, orchestra. Yes, I think so for sure. <laughs> for sure, need a lot of studying, and I guess must be maybe challenge and then the interest there too. Yeah, uh, so I realized that here. Uh, we just copy the phonics from the Vietnamese dictionary. That's why you don't see the R at the end. But usually, you will just say this is like conductor, right? You still have to say the R. Okay. Uh, Donnie, so low. You see here, there are uh, like a three parts of speech of this little, small, short word. It can be a noun. A person, right? Can be adjective, can be adverb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, what's your example? Uh, the trainer, I know. He is first solo today. What is the verb? What is the solo. verb? Solo. No, oh. he's first solo today. So he's first solo oh. show today. So. The trainer. Tyler, feel his first slow today. Oh, it's 
I still don't. I still didn't hear the. Oh, the another. Word. What she is the word? Sing a uh, solo. Oh, not like that. Hmm. Solo, you can Want go fly slow across the Atlantic. Mm-hmm. What's that, my love? What hey, I uh in the fairy tale. You have to try to say uh, the words properly, and then we can understand. Uh, solo, for example, at the adverb, so you can say that it's just a solo performance. It means only. For example, mm-hmm. your son Tung what's that? Only him, mm-hmm. all the show, no one else, right? Mm-hmm. Um, um, I guess sometimes they have one or two friends, but they they are the main, the solo uh, performance. Um, um, go solo, so it's adverb. So once again, what's your example with solo? Uh, he wants to fly. Solo. Solo. So it means that he. Uh, <laughs> fly on like that. Yeah. Of course, the has... other thing. Yeah. Okay. Fly solo uh, across the Atlantic Ocean. Mm-hmm. Hmm, great. Okay. Yeah. Something like that. Only him. Solo. And it's great that it has a lot of um, like a functions, right? Can work as adjective or adverb or noun. Great. Um, Milo. Number 13. No, no, I'm sorry. Lily. <laughs> Lily. Sports lights. And she takes all of my spot, spotlights on the stage. She takes what? All of my spotlights. <laughs> she takes. Uh, those does like happen all the time, right? If not, it's she took. Right, so she takes all my spotlights. Yes. Okay, but I'm I'm curious. Yeah, it's the verb to light something or someone with the yeah. Okay, so you you use you spotlight uh, something. The paint was hmm, spotlight. All right. Um, now is my law. Fiction, not real. Just fiction. I'd like to write a fiction story. I'd like to write a fiction story. When I'm bored. Hmm. I'd like to write a fiction story uh, when uh, I'm bored. I'm bored, yeah. <laughs> good, good. We use our imagination. Yeah, that's good. That's a good activity, actually. Good habit. I like, I want to write a fiction story when I'm bored. Good. Because sometimes we are alone, we can click our imagination. Mm, everybody is different, but I think it's good. Donny, so now it's your turn. Science uh, woo, fiction. Uh, it's, of course, only three of you. <laughs> Science fiction, even easier. <laughs> not real, just not real, just in film, in movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, it is a works of fiction. Mm-hmm. But science fiction, you are in uh, number 15. Mm. Yeah, it can be books or films or cartoon about imagine future, right? Science that fiction. Book? Yeah. Book. Is a one of science fiction. Science fiction ones or science fiction. One of the one or two or three or five, six, seven, eight, did, yeah. This is this did this. Did... Mm-hmm. You said that this book is one of the science fiction ones, right? A little bit like a repeated. This is one of the famous. It is one of the famous. Um, science fiction books, maybe, but then we don't repeat uh, books many times in one sentence. Yeah. But yes, it's just like a type. You can say science fiction novel, science fiction movie, sorry, etc. Uh, Lily, 
It's your turn for number 16. And mm -hmm. how did you spell the word widespread? Uh, I'm not really sure, but I will try to remember. Very, very good. I actually, I really encourage you guys to use question and uh, negative sentences for this part, not just a statement or positive sentences all the time. Very good. Milo, classified, distinguished. Did I translate this? Again? Wait, I can translate this. Yeah, this uh, from this level, I think it's a little bit challenging that no, we don't really have the meaning here, meanings here, then we really have to focus when you're doing the vocab challenge with Mr. Charon, then you I can don't know how classified mean. I don't like, know yeah, how, how sentences to... it's my sentences. Uh, yeah, classified, you can do classified only like the verb. This one is classified. It's an adjective. It means like a used in passive voice, right? Kind of adjective. Um, already, already, already get classified. But your example is what? I don't know how to classify, right? That's what you said? Milo? Uh, what is classified mean is my sense? <laughs> what is classified meaning? Yeah. Have, it has a different, it has have a few different meanings. Classified at a verb, it's just like, a, what is that? Distinguish? But classified. This one as a, as a, has function as an adjective, so it's a little bit different. A little bit different. Okay. Donny, whoa, this one is just great, Donny. <laughs> Anonymous. Anonymous. But it's nothing. It's just an adjective. You can have I an ominous email. Yeah. 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 Ear. Try to link and try to. Yeah. Is a is a not ear. Ear is not English. Is a, it is a is a. Is a all night. Organize hacker. Organize hacker or US. But the, the word is um, anonymous. Mm -hmm. So where is it? Say it once again. Anom anonymous is an uh, organized hacker of US. <laughs> Same as that. So that's the name. So that's, that's the name of the, the organize, organization. Mm -hmm. Okay, so organization, not organizer. Organize, organization. So anonymous, actually, it's like a, the brand, the name, the Brunel. Anonymous is a, um, what you said? American hacker organization? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's the name. It's, <laughs> they even use that. Back to Lily, composer. Mm. Mozart is his favorite composer. Mm. Yeah, we still know him, but I guess that already died. So we should use like properly using past simple. So was, right? Was famous. Mozart was a famous uh, composer. Okay. Yeah, because not not now, in the past. Uh, the last one here is from Milo. Adaptable, adaptability. Yeah, your ability to adapt. It may be environment, habitat. I'm sure. I'm sure that my hamster can adaptable in her enclosure. Hmm. I believe that my hamster can be because this adaptable is adjective, right? So you use be can be adaptable to her her what cage. That's what yes, cage. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so just like a very good example, but we just like a use the right structure with adjective, can be adjective, can be adaptable to her case or her new home, right? Okay, yeah. um, 
So that is it for this. It's uh, Mr. Chero, are you there? I am. Yeah, so. Why can't so I turn my camera on? Um, well, I got to figure out how to close this with the cover, but I can't get my camera. How do I take control? You want to? There we go. Uh, so, like, are they going to take a short break or? How do I get control? I need control of the screen again here. Just stop me. Just stop it. And How? Then, uh, I already stopped sharing. You just go to share screen and then you can control this. I already stopped sharing. Yeah, I'm trying. So about the student, they will take a short break or no? Yep, we we'll take a short break. Okay, guys and girls, <laughs> that is our part. We are practicing with our shows, so um, take a short break. After that, you get back to the, the uh, writer story about Stephen King with Mr. Trevor. Yeah, okay. Stephen King. <laughs> Stephen in French, Stephen, Stephen in King. English. Bye-bye so. from Miss Lee. Bye-bye. Break bye. time. Bye-bye.